Welcome to show number 17. I know. Wow. 17. Amazing. So ready? One, two, three. Shoot. Oh. Scissors. <laughs> I'm Amy. <laughs> and I'm Michelle. And we are two, two creative, creative chicks, chicks that, that ride. ride. <laughs> Welcome back to our show, everybody. We really appreciate you tuning in. Welcome. Yeah, we always have a good time. And if you've never joined us before, um, we are all about empowering and encouraging women riders, whether you own your own or take take the backseat as a passenger, which is great too. Mm -hmm. We just want to encourage and empower other women to um, just be better people, right? And in the in yeah, I'm tongue tied at the moment. But that's cool. Whatever happens, happens. <laughs> so it is here to educate and inspire other women riders here and around the world. We do cover all topics of discussion regarding the all lifestyle topics. of the female rider, um, whether you ride your own, like I said, or are a passenger. You know, that riding experience mm -hmm. is just awesome. Wind therapy, as I love to call it, and it's yes. really wind therapy. Yeah, it really me. is, and mm -hmm. more levels than one. Yeah, yeah. So we do have a great show planned for you today. We are in continuation of our chick clubs, clicks, and characters. Yes. Yeah, characters. <laughs> uh, so we have already covered um, all about your being confident on your bike, what's mm -hmm. comfortable for you on your bike, um, all that kind of stuff. We also covered in a segment about um, clubs, initiations, requirements, yep. and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to continue with that series, and we're going to be talking about today finding your own tribe, ladies, yep. right? Like, yep. where, um, what makes you comfortable? Ooh, spirit bumps already. I know. Finding your tribe. Finding your tribe, man. Love it. We love all it. need a tribe, right? We're we humans do. in this human experience, and humans need humans. Yeah. We're, we are pack animals by nature. Nature, yeah. And uh, we have a Facebook user on. Hello. I'm not sure who you are, but happy Thursday, ladies. Happy Thursday. Hi, maybe that's Johnny. Actually, I'm going to jump on my phone and pull up our chat screen off of Facebook um, because we usually follow that on Facebook also. Um, and here we are with our live stream. I'm going to cut the volume off. Because we're loud. Wonderful. Once we found the volume button and we got that organized, oh, that we had to turn so it funny. down. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The beginning days. Yeah, we'll have to do like days. a flashback. Um, we did it then and now, We're, but we'll have to do like yeah. a show then and now, right? Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> that would really be awesome. Uh, so, um, you know, finding your own tribe. And I'll tell you what, you know, finding your tribe, a lot of people do that now like on me social media. Yeah. I mean, that's a big way. And as riders right like yeah. you know we're talking about like you know the group experience but you know a lot of us a, a lot of us are introverts by nature you know um that that ride and that's why we'll join a group or that's why like mm -hmm. when you find somebody that's like mind you kind of bond and meld yes, together yes. and uh so so it isn't as easy as like you know for like two two yokes like us to come up and be like go up to people and be like hi how you doing you know <laughs> <laughs> and, and Amy makes it look so easy, you know. And I'm it's sure who I am, though. <clears throat> I'm sure. It's really who I am. Do you have like a moment like where it's like, like you get that little nervousness and that knot, but you're just like, I'm gonna do it. When I get that gut feeling, and I'm like, Ugh, I force myself, and like we've talked about that in another show. Mm -hmm. If I feel an energy from another person, like that stuns me or stunts my energy puts a wall up somewhere I always go through that wall with love like wow man I love that shirt on you mm -hmm. I always find a positive mm -hmm. affirmation to break down that wall mm -hmm. you know and even in like the work that I do with mentoring women in our area um, that's one of the ways to get them comfortable is to spot the positive just find something positive spot find it positive, make a compliment yeah. if you don't get a response and right. move on to the next lady mm -hmm. you know yeah and listen I saw a lady the other day she was watering her lawn she came out looking like something out of the 50s TV right her <laughs> hair in a bouffant she had the headband with the big bangs and the poofy hair her shirt with her tight little um high-waisted belt on her yellow shirt and she's watering the grass I turned around I said 
well, aren't you the cutest little thing I ever saw today? <laughs> and she's like, thank you. A little old lady, but she was dressed to the nines. She looked like a 50s TV person. And, you know, of course, oh, leave me a card. and You know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah. I that comes naturally to me, right? It just mm-hmm. comes naturally to me. It doesn't so much for me. Right. And I think that that's why, for me, it's like um, people may... Misre- like you know look at me and be like oh look at that who does she think she is look at that bitch on the bike you know what I mean because yeah. I'll have you know I actually had a friend comment once um, you know you always look like this on your bike that's why I <laughs> I'm gonna make face the face mask that's why I wear a face yeah. mask like I, I have like, like a sugar a- skull now and it's like but you know you're like mm. and I do remember <laughs> like I was like well what you know it's not a fashion <laughs> contest but then again, if you want to try to find your tribe, yeah. it is some kind of, like, you do have to, um, you do have to extend that hand, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I do, I, and I smile when I talk to people and everything, don't get me wrong, but when I'm riding, I'm, like, looking for, like, those assholes in the cars that are, like, that yeah. just don't see us, you know? Yeah. They're like, mm, I'm like, mm, where are you, where are you? I'm, I'm highly focused. I guess some would say it looks like I'm taking a poop while I'm riding. <laughs> She but, don't have resting bitch face. She's got resting shit I've face. I've got resting. <laughs> uh, it looks like I'm taking a poop. Resting and you know, shit face. <laughs> I'm resting shit faced. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Can you get pulled over for that? Officer, why am I being pulled over? You have resting, resting shit, shit face. face. <laughs> and you look very shit faced, so I need to give you a ticket. <laughs> oh, turn you, that frown upside down, yeah, girl. Then you go, tits up. Really? Oh, never mind. You can go. <laughs> tits up, smile. <laughs> no, really resting. <laughs> but, but, but it's to be approachable, right? Yeah. So if you're looking for a tribe, if you're actively seeking somebody, you know, to, that's like-minded to ride yeah, with, you've got to put yourself out there. Wow, that's like kind of our theme of the day, which it we'll really talk about is. a little later. Right, yeah. it is. It's about what we attract to ourselves by how we carry ourselves and present ourselves, right? Yeah. So I'm very fortunate at this point in my journey, in my life, um, that I am attracting like-minded women, right? Mm -hmm. Um, And I surround myself with powerful women, which empowers me. Which brings in more of the same. Which brings in more of the same, right. So, you know, for a long time, I, I was in the cesspool, the pond, and I swam in circles with the guppies, right? Mm-hmm. And, 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 and life was just that cesspool of guppies. And one day I came up out of the water for a breath of fresh air, sobriety, and I looked up and I saw an eagle flying. And I'm like, I don't want to be a fish in the pond anymore. Mm-hmm. I want to fly like the eagles. Yeah. So then, you know, I chose a day. Oh, spirits got me, girl. Yeah, that was a pretty powerful and, statement. And I came out of the pond and I saw the eagle and I wanted to fly like an eagle. And cool. I surrounded myself with, with eagles those. that flew that in is, their lives. So we surround ourselves with other women who ride. Right. Whether it's the back of the bike or the front of the bike. Women that love to ride. Some, another woman says, "Yeah, I got a little tribe. Yeah, I got a little tribe. Okay, just got a little tribe. When yeah, somebody yeah. calls you up, you meet somebody. They call you up and they're like, "Hey, you want to go for a ride?" Well, if you can't, you can't. But yes, 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 yes mm-hmm. is the answer. Yes. That's one of the things that I do. I, I reach out to people because um, it's in my nature. If you're on, in my mind, on my mind, in my heart, I will call you. Mm-hmm. I don't wait for tomorrow. I don't. I, I will stop what I'm doing and be like, you know what? I thought about you twice today. I just wanted to let you know I was thinking about you. Mm-hmm. Or, hey, I'm going down to... she goes, you want to take a ride? (laughs) I'm going to Earl's. Do you want to come have some pizza with me? Or, I'm going down to Jensen. Do you want to take a ride and go to Mulligan's? Mm -hmm. I'm always putting out the invitation, and then I always put it out to more than one woman. Right? Like, I call you. I call Bev. I call Dawn Blue Raven. You know, I call my sister tribe. Your tribe, yep. You know, and I like my tribe. My tribe is all very spiritually fit Mm -hmm. healthy women Mm -hmm. who are still progressing Mm -hmm. in in the positive aspects of life right yeah so we're not stuck in the cesspool we're not stuck in the negative draining emotions we're like okay shit's going down what you gonna do about it goddess get me out of it yeah right take this shit from me 
Um, so yeah, so that's kind of about my tribe, right? And I have literally cats, one of them. Women follow me to a gas station or, or mm-hmm. like cat follow me to my house because we live in the same complex, but they're like, you look awesome on your bike and like, I want to ride with you. Mm-hmm. Where can I get a motorcycle? Well, the first thing you need to do is go get your drive, get yeah. your license. <laughs> to take the test. Right? Don't be like Amy and have the bike sitting there for four months in your garage till you got your license. Right. But that's just how my journey was, right? Mm-hmm. So, you know, I think when we find women who ride, right? I think that I know when I rode with you this past weekend when we did our business meeting this weekend. Yeah. And we had the helmet like, cams we did on. My, I failed miserably with my helmet cam. It was the first <laughs> time I ever so had okay. used one, right? No, but it was it's the first time I used process. one. Listen, I'm getting better. You know, the veil is being lifted in regards to computers for me because I was very computer savvy in my 20s and 30s, and I'm not anymore. But I'm becoming again. Um, so I got this GoPro <laughs> helmet on with my little purple pigtails, you know, because I, I rock Michelle's wear uh, helmet gear. I rock her helmet gear, I love it. And so cute. our little GoPro cameras, right? So we're driving down there and we stopped at the gas station to fill our tanks and I had stopped the video and then I put the video back on and we rode and we're like going, you know, like this so we can get footage of both yeah. of us. <laughs> My effing camera was off. We have a lot of footage <laughs> of Amy. It was the Amy show. <laughs> oh, it was terrible, no, it's right? Okay. And Michelle looked so adorable on her bike too, right? We both had our pigtails mm. going on, or she had a braid, or whatever. And then I, we get down, we do our business meeting. We're looking at our cameras, and I don't have any footage. She does, of course, because you know she knows how to use her camera and was teaching well, me, that's... and I had never used it before, but she's had it for a long time. Well, that's the thing. It, I had. It was the first time I had actually used it on the bike. But you had taught me something, too, because of that clip that comes with it. I have had my camera for a while. Like, I have a bunch of videos of my grandson swimming around under the water in the pool, looking at boobies, starting young. Uh, we will talk about That's another subject. <laughs> but I, I know how to use it. But I, Amy's like, oh, yeah, boo, boo. She puts hers on the clip and she sticks it to it. I'm like, girl, what are yeah, you doing? I know. I'm like, I can my do son that? taught me that. My son taught me. My, Mikey, I'm like. <laughs> I might. Mike taught me that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I can do that. I can do. That. So on the way back, because I I've spent all these hours getting it on my handlebars, so that you know, and that was great. But when it was on the helmet, I was like, <laughs> now I'm, you can see on my camera, I'm like looking around, looking around. I'm like getting Amy in the mirror. I'm like looking at Amy yeah. when she goes by. I'm like looking all around as best I can with the whole neck thing going on. But, you know, point being, like we're a tribe. We we ride right. together. We, we have feel a blast. Empowered. We have fun. Listen. I ride with you and Dave, mm-hmm. you, me and Butch, Dave, mm-hmm. you, whoever. But when there's two chicks riding side by side, oh, it's so different. It the feeling of empowerment, yeah, of goddessness <laughs> is right there. Like yeah, it's I so different. don't think. I remember the first time I rode with Bev. I had Bev on this side. I had Butch on this side. And I got tears in my eyes. I was so proud and so powerful in that moment, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? And then I was like, whoa. Like, yeah. I had never felt that before. And I'll never forget it again. And the only other thing that topped that was me riding and having a son on each side of me. And Mike yeah. and Jill were here. That, was that picture's on your Facebook. That's a nice one. Yeah. So we, we kind of made the Creative Chicks That Ride group on our Facebook page, yes. which we both shared today on our Facebook pages. Hi, Kat. Thanks for tuning in. Hi, Kat. Kat's getting tatted. Hey, tatted, good luck. Tatted. Uh, we know what it looks like, too. Please post a picture in the group, Kat, when you get it, because we'd love to see it on you. We've seen the picture of it, but we'd love to see it on you. So, yeah, the Creative Chicks That Ride, it's really, you know, it's a space for us to um, share our video, obviously. Mm -hmm. A place for us to promote our products. But mainly, like, we could do that anywhere. The real main reason that we did this was because we want you women that are watching um, to be able to find your tribe. And it may not be everybody that's in our Creative Chicks That Ride group. It may just be a few. It may just be one. But, you know, we it's it's a place to encourage. It's like a free, open group. Like, anybody can post. Right. Anybody can right. invite a member. Yeah. And it's like, there's no restrictions. There's no, like, I mean, honestly, well, if you were shown pictures of your vagina, we'd probably have to cut you from the group, honestly. But or I'll put a heart over after it or something. <laughs> <laughs> we'll blur it out. After well, we, I'll, just, no. I'll just blur it out. 
You know, one of those smiley faces. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't know, you know, and honestly, yeah. if it's yeah, if Facebook it. will allow it, we probably would keep it up as long yeah, as it's like, hey, vagina, nice though. vagina, right. you know? Yeah, no, we'd be kicked out. Just talking about vaginas. Get to talking me. about vaginas. <laughs> People got to think I'm gay or something. I'm not. <laughs> no. I'm not. It's your ho- totally. Your, it's your hormone because you. Well, we will. Anyway, we won't go there. We won't go there. So anyway, I would really that happens be to interested grandmothers. to know what you tribe is like. What's your yeah. group of women like? Mm-hmm. What are the best times that you've ever had with your tribe? Mm-hmm. Right? So it's not necessarily about being part of a clique, because I don't do cliques. I love everybody. Yeah. Um, and yeah, this week is definitely about, like, just finding your people. Finding your people. You... Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm so blessed that I have found my people. You know, yeah. and and I know that where I am right now, my journey is such a blessing. Like I, I just the women that I have around me, I love so much. Mm-hmm. You know, um, and that those healthy relationships that can be formed mm-hmm. with women. And and I'm at an age now where I don't do drama. I don't do the catty bullshit. You know, if you're acting out of character. Out of, mm. out of what I consider good morals, values, and character, you know, you're at, acting like a slut of or something like that. Slut of <laughs> I'd probably join in real quick, but then I would retract and be like, yo, we really shouldn't do that. But I would have fun for a moment, right? But, you know, if you're acting out of character, I pull you up on that today. I have a voice today, you know? Mm-hmm. Kind of like... You, we don't need to act in that way anymore. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I, I've been changed so... I've, like, transformed so much over the past few years that some of the stuff that I used to do, I just can't do anymore. So if you're a slut of guff for this, you're not Amy's tribe. <laughs> you are, but just a little bit. Just saying. So, uh, no so judgment we, zone. Yeah. No judgment zone. And, yeah. every, and everybody is different, and that's good. And I think that, you know... Um, I, don't, I just lo- totally lost my train of thought. I'm just thinking what a slut of guff A slut of looks like the guy on Sesame Street, Snuffleupagus. You know, the lady that. Yeah, she's stinky. Yeah. But anyway, but you know what it is, right? Like, we don't. We're more you can than still tits join and our ass. Group. That's yeah. my point. We're more than tits and ass. We yeah. have really powerful mindsets. <laughs> We are extremely oriented, mm-hmm. goal-oriented, mm-hmm. powerful. We know what we want in life. You know, mm-hmm. I'm I'm in a crone crone stage of of my reality, mm-hmm. right? I truly believe that I'm just in, coming into my crone stage. Mm-hmm. You know, three stages of a woman's life for you that don't know is maiden, mother, crone, mm-hmm. right? So, I'm a crone, and I am owning that, like. I love that. The gray hairs are getting a little bit more predominant. Um, thought I had paint in my hair the other day, and I was like, ooh, ooh, I'm going to try it, but I don't know if I'm going to like it. So what is your tribe? What, you know, tell us about the women that you surround yourself with. Because um, I know the women I surround myself with give me such joy, encouragement, and support today that I don't think I would be who I am without them. I really don't. It's nice. It's nice. It's very nice. So yeah, feel free to, um, you know, to share with us or, you know, check us out on Facebook. Check out our group, Creative Chicks at Ride. Maybe it will help you find your tribe. Um, It's, I mean, we are active participants in our life so we kind of we tend to follow like the the hints that spirit sends yeah. you know what i mean because yeah. our meeting could have gone a whole different way you had we not been really listening to spirit. that heart pull you know what i mean yeah. because you could have you know i mean 
Amy came into the shop, as as you know, you, you're like, we've heard this story a hundred times, girls, move on. But, you know, when she came in, like, you know, there was there was that moment, you know, where... Instant soul just recognition. Instant soul recognition. You know, uh, another one of her friends had come in and bought her a bell for her bike, because she had just bought the bike, and it was a uh, little witch, you know, and, and he's like, she's my little witch, and she was like, oh my God, I love my bell, and I got her all checked in and everything, and she's like, I'm, I'm just a witch, you know, that's what I do, I've been doing it for years, and I'm like... Oh, really? Huh. <laughs> funny, funny should happen on here, you know, because we have we share a similar spiritual belief. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we don't agree with other religions. Oh no, I support all religions. Yeah, all religions, anything. If yeah. it's a positive religion, it's a good religion. That's if it's right. a positive spirituality, anything that but, brings you into a positive yeah. higher power, caring, loving. But taking that moment to be like, you know, hey. How you doing? Like, I'm doing a show. You want to come do the show with me? What do you do? You do art? Wait, what? Come here. Come on. I need to be with your energy. And yeah. had I not, I mean, been I think eventually, yeah, that. but had I not been open to receive that friendship or that, you know, that like-minded that's put right in front of me, yeah, I don't know. It may have been like the Michelle and Wanda show or something. I don't know. <laughs> How could you pass up this character? I mean, really. Like I was trying to go that. <laughs> I'm really bad. I'm trying to point at Wanda right there. See oh. Wanda? No, she, Wanda's not here. See Wanda? She's right there. Look at the camera, right Michelle. There. Wanda's right there. <gasps> <laughs> See, I would, I would really hang out with her. With you did good. I, did I would hang I out like, with her because she's got some cool, cool ass <laughs> freaking <laughs> pigtails going on. Uh, Amy's kind of getting a little close with Wanda over there. Okay, so Wanda. Okay. So, a couple of things I want to ask be your you girl. <laughs> before we finish up our topic. Speaking of finding your tribe, two things you've got to do today. <laughs> you've got to go and find Creative Chicks That Ride Facebook group. Yes. Right? It's it's off of Yankee Daves, and I don't know how to look for a group, but I, is it like at? It's a search engine. There's a search engine at the top of your Facebook where you can look for people, and if you click on the little magnifying eyeglass and type in Creative Chicks That Ride, mm -hmm. we will come right up. Okay, cool. I want you to tell me, so, so join the group. If you're already a member of the group, your next task is eh, invite your friends, you know, invite yeah. your tribe into our tribe. So we can be like one a big tribe. So we can be a big gigantic <laughs> tribe. Right. And Slatanophagus. Slatagophagus. Are also welcome. Are also we, welcome. We are not prejudiced against Slata. What I, I just I keep seeing the Sesame only thing Street. Is, you know, it's 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 you know you gotta follow the rules of Facebook. You know, no slander, yeah. no racism, no. Yeah, and it's all kindness and love, and yeah, post man. post a picture of yourself on your motorcycle. Introduce yourself oh, because yes. I'm always looking. If I see a picture of you on a bike, I'm like, er, ooh, future babe of the week, future babe of the week. Yeah. You never know. I might call, call, cast you out, call you up, and be like, I'd like you to be the babe of the week. Follow this link, was or that, you can enter. When you opened that Facebook page, was that the one that I said, "Hi, I'm Amy," and I yes, that, yeah. I did an intro of, of myself yep. and my motorcycle picture, me and my bike, on the page when it was created. I just want to make sure that was the right page. Wow. Yeah, that's the page. So. It's Creative Chicks That Ride. We are two Creative Jeez. Chicks That Ride. But the page... Is Creative Chicks That Ride. It's all of us. It's all so, of us. Um, yeah, so we'd like to build that. And I was thinking of doing, like, a contest. Yeah, but... Can I ask a question about that first? Yeah. Because it's Creative Chicks That Ride, so also I thought we were going to allow people to post their creative sides. No? I, yeah, I, I, I mean, sure. it, it, anything goes in there, you okay. know what I mean? I think, I think that it's really mainly, like, yeah, so if, I mean, you mean like sales or something? No, like, you know, where, where's your creative energy? What, you know? Yeah, I like, mean. what do you do? Like, my friend Bev is a phenomenal oil painter Bev was one of our babes of the yeah week. I mean if you uh, if you want to like post a poll about it I wouldn't say it's a place to advertise your like product. your product because okay. right. we actually okay so announcement time I was going to do the announcement a little bit later on but Amy is pushing me to do the oh, announcement oh I did now, not so. I didn't even realize that that's where, that's where I was going I was really it was a magical just moment asking, yeah asking a question. <laughs> I really was not plugging that at all see you could have just went right with it yeah that's what I'm doing no I'm plugging a question <laughs> so <laughs> we have an, we have an announcement <laughs> the when you go to yankeedaves.com because we are 
uh, our little gift shop is located inside Yankee Dave's Motorsports in Vero Beach, Florida. Um, and we want to thank Zippy Muldoon for plugging us and the shop the other day. Yes, he has, shout he out has, to Zippy. Yeah, he, he, on TikTok, if you do not know who Zippy Muldoon is, you, you, if you want to laugh till you pee, <laughs> he's I the have, guy. <laughs> yes. So, Yankee Dave's Motorsports, we're located inside. We run the front of the house. Dave stays in the back. We crack the whip. Crack the whip. Anyhow, if you go to the yankeedaves.com, you'll see a little tab for us, which is, um, I don't know, creative CC that ride or something. But you'll see us down the end. If you click all the tabs, you'll find us. But before that is the shop online button, which is the Yankee Dave's online store which is done really well like there's a lot of like um, motorcycle apparel and a lot and you know and my search for motorcycle apparel to build that store it's mostly men's shit you know and i love guys don't get me wrong men are awesome you know but, but where's our shit where's man? our shit what are we gonna like run around and i and you know I, we could look like guys when we ride but we don't we want to look like chicks so tits and tattoos yeah, guys tits and tattoos. so I've changed it up a little bit. So now it's like broken down. It still has a little bit of everything. However, that site now welcomes vendors. And that's what I thought you were leading up to. So your friend no. that does these wonderful oil paintings, you know what I mean? Apply I to be a no vendor. Idea. Yeah, so you know, it take it's a small commission to list your stuff, but you have like your own little storefront in there and all your products are listed in the huge store where he's got I mean everything from from boots to zipper pulls to wallet chains, everything. And then our stuff it, we're adding our stuff now, so all the Yankee Babe apparel will be on it. All of Amy's um, items will be on it as well, which is um, a, a huge array of awesome spiritual stuff and, like, handcrafted motorcycle stuff as well. Yeah. And then, oh, my God, I, I, we're going to go over today, but that's okay, because there's more. Blah, blah, blah. Can you do the or something? <laughs> <laughs> there's more. <laughs> Any takeoff parts. We have so many people. We used to sell takeoff parts. So we, Dave and I would buy them. And we'd buy them by the bunch. And so we had so many of them. We were like a big warehouse. And you'd take the pictures. And it, now we don't do that anymore. Now we have like a nice, pretty, girly gift shop where you can shop for yourself or your man can come, hint, hint, and buy you gifts. Hint, hint. Hint, hint, hint. Mm -hmm. So... You can sell your mo used motorcycle parts, take off parts, and if you have a motorcycle for sale, you can list your motorcycle. Hint, hint, cat, hint, <laughs> hint, cat. Depending on how it goes with Harley today. But, so, head on over to Yankee Dave's Motors, uh, no, sorry, it's yankeedaves.com, my bad, back it up, girl, and maybe Amy and I will even share links to it today. We're still playing around with the site, so I would love to invite you to come along. And that's probably best anybody in our group that is creative. That's how we'd like to see your creative side. Oh, yeah, is to become help. a vendor. That's yeah, a great become a vendor idea. because you know you can showcase what you do, and we, we can help you be abundant and find your tribe. Well, that's like a two two reasons to join. And listen, this is just like such a flow today, right? I feel like a commercial. I know it's flowing for the so low low beautiful. price now. <laughs> Did and you that, just go? I did. Did you just fluff it? Mm -hmm. She cycled it and fluffed it. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's good. <laughs> okay. That's so, awesome. um, hey, you know what, Amy? Speaking of flowing vendors that do beautiful art. So, this is my product of the week. What do I have up there? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember what it says. Large, small. No, that print is wrong, but that's cool. I forgot to take the permanent decal thing off of there, but that's cool. No big deal. I never changed the text. <laughs> <laughs> We've got permanent decal. It's okay. So, true to nature, Yeah. we're going to see Michelle's forehead. Oh, oh, okay. I no? think it's the Amy's forehead instead. Oh, so, yeah. You know how to do it. Okay, so yeah, I do. So listen. So she, this she's is always it, putting right? her boobs in front of the camera. I think that's what you're trying to do. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Amy's boobs are very much part of our tribe. Yeah, they really have become part of the tribe, and that's cool. <laughs> Product of the week, and we are going to change that up real quick. So, ladies and gentlemen, I actually um, started my artistic cre uh, career, and my artistic creation started in when I was 45, seven years ago. I went to a sip and paint party with my 
my sister, and we picked up paint, uh, paintbrushes for the first time. And, you know, true to addict that I am, because I am an addict, um, I actually went out the next day and bought like $600 <laughs> worth of, <laughs> worth of um, product to paint. And I have been painting ever since. I, in the beginning, watched a lot of um, videos on YouTube about paint texture and brushes, and I love to paint. Um, I created these two paintings, and I'm going to go bring them up closer so I can show y'all. Because, you know, I love we love to, like, run around on it's the camera. Savannah Showcase. Okay, so. Savannah will be showing you. This is you. one of my first three-dimensional paintings. So this is my, uh, this is a 3D painting, uh, very textured, very beautiful. It's one of my favorite trees that I've ever made. Uh, I do, I did have more of these, but I sold them all. Um, but this one is the original one that I did. First time I ever did textured art, and I um, love this painting. This painting is um, $35. The next one I Can you do a side view of that? Because, I, I mean, you can see it looks beautiful, but I wonder if you can see the depth of it if we go sideways. <gasps> yeah. Oh, 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 it's half price. Yeah. She's giving me directions. I love that yeah. tree painting. Yeah. So the next one I did, I just finished this one this week. I, um, <laughs> it's half price. Is it? <laughs> How are you in two spots at once? I know, yeah. right? So I need an Amy person. This is called um, The Three Dragons, Dragons of Abundance. Wow. Right? And I do some creative painting with one of my good friends, Mallory. Hi, Mal. Shh. Hi, we Mallory. We did these backgrounds. We were going to do a three-dimensional tree life picture. And as I was painting the background, it was way too mystical with the colored clouds and all of that reflection. Um, and then I saw dragons in it, right? It's beautiful. And I love that This is the first time I ever painted dragons. It's kind of when you look at it, it's almost like three-dimensional, right? It kind of looks mm -hmm. like you can look, you're looking into the picture. Um, so this is Dragon Abundance. This is a brand new painting. Uh, it's, it's premiere right now. It's today. It's one of a no kind, one has right? ever seen it. Yeah, these are one of a kind painting, guys. So um, I've been being asked to kind of like make prints and sell prints for cheaper. I'm thinking about going into that end of it, but for right now, these are all one of a kind originals, right? And this is a large painting, and this one is also $35. Um, 35, so and they're available on your- They're available on my square, on my square, on the woodwitchery.com. Um, they, you'll get a, you can get a link to the woodwitchery from Yankee Davis, I believe. God, I and, love that tree painting, yeah, and um, and the dragon one is beautiful too. Thanks, Michelle. Well, this is from Facebook. These are your oh, comments. Oh, Facebook comments. Thank yeah. you, guys. Oh, I love it. And um, yeah, so that's my product of the week. Oh my um, God, you are so freaking talented. And this I just love, all comes in, right? Yeah, it's, it's all intuitively done. Like I don't, I had no sense of what I was going to paint, how I was going to paint it. Um, so we sit down and we always have our spiritual music on when me and Mallory create anything. We, we just put that wasabi music on in the background and we just get going. And um, that was two sittings, two four-hour sittings it took to do that picture. Beautiful. So they do take $35? time. $35? For $35, yeah. To, but listen, it's beautiful. for me, it's not about pricing my stuff for, for the length of time or yeah. by the hour, it's by spirit. Just Whatever it. Yep. spirit puts in my heart to charge for a painting, then that's what I do. Beautiful. So these two pictures are available in our store at 1170 Oslo Road. There are more paintings here. Mm -hmm. You'll have to come in and see which ones they are. Mm -hmm. um, but they are available for sale. I have one. As much as I wanted to keep my three dragons, Gorgeous. Like, I did not want to put it on display. I wanted to keep it on my wall. I did have it up on my dresser for a while, and I would lay there at night and just be, like, it's beautiful. mesmerized. Yeah. So, 
that's my product of the week. Guys. Thank you, Amy. I love it. And I love the idea of doing the prints, you know, because yeah. whoever buys this will always have the original. Yeah. And that's, that's so cool. You know, that was the thing, right? Because I think every one of my, every time I do a new product, every time I make a new creation, oh, it's the best one ever. Oh, it's the. Yeah. It, <laughs> it's bad, but that's all I do. I'm glad she's deciding to share it, not have a whole entire room of paintings. I know. So guess what, guys? This is what time it is. <laughs> Babe of the week. Oh my gosh. Go. I had so much fun Here with this go. one. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 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 And here we go. Here we go. Here we go. go, go. <laughs> this week's Babe of the Week is Sarah oh, L. Sarah lives in Florida. She lives in Bradenton, Florida, as a matter of fact, which is um, no. near my near uh, Diane, my my mummy. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Oh, I hope daughter. you're watching. Um, Thank you. Bye-bye. Sarah is, uh, she's pretty incredible. So um, she's a grandma. Oh, look at how cute she is. I know. Oh, I love that. She's a grandma. That. So she's like, join our grandma list. She's crown. Love it. She's beauty crone. Like, we are like a group of crones that look like maidens. High I like love it. We're like that. the maiden crones. The M crones. <laughs> we have our MC, Maiden Crone Club. Oh, we gotta make t-shirts. <laughs> okay. Sarah rides her own bike, and she has been riding for over 20 years. Mm. So, does she even look 20? Not no. really. <laughs> but, no, she's, you know, she's beautiful. It's, it's the youthfulness. I think that riding a motorcycle yeah, keeps so you hot. young. Yeah, she is a hot mama. Love she's a 43-year-old grandma. She has two beautiful children and a beautiful granddaughter. She's who got a nice probably, bike, too. Yeah, she has nice a nice ride, bike. Sarah. Yep. And she's probably, um, granddaughter's probably going to be a future rider. Oh, that's awesome. That's what I think. Yeah, so mine too. hopefully we're still around. Um, she's been riding for 20 plus years. Her father and brother were the ones who gave her the passion to ride. So she's like, you know, and this is no tomboy looking at that beauty. No, nope, um, no. This is my favorite. And I actually had to like write her this morning because like I spent the whole night in my brain going, how does this work? Like, I, I don't, I, I, you know, you see it, but how does this happen? So she says, her dog Coda rides with her on a motorcycle sometimes, right? So if you look at that picture, oh damn, it just went by. So you're gonna wait till we get to picture number three. And I, I so I wrote her this morning, and I'm like, Sarah, how does how do you get your dog to get on the bike and I'll ride with you? Um, it's the next picture. So if you look at this picture coming up here, you'll see a little buddy sitting on the tank. Oh, I saw it. <laughs> He's so small. Does he really stay right there? He does. He sits on the tank, and she has, like, this oh. harness, oh, right? Okay. So she has, like, a harness, so he's, like, attached to the to harness her. on yeah. her, but he sits right on the tank, and he rides around with her, and he loves it, she says. He loves it. So I'm like, I wish I could get that with my cat. I know. Trouble would be awesome. I know. He'd be like, <laughs> I'd have all these claw marks on my tank. I love trouble. From him trying to get off. He's, so her but dog yeah. rides with her Her dog's cats. name is Kota, Kota, and, um, and her doggy rides with her on her motorcycle. I just love it. She rides That's mainly awesome. to de-stress and get away from all of life's problems and apparently to stay youthful looking, right? Yeah. Love it. Her favorite thing about riding, she says there's no better time to be spiritual or contemplate life than on a motorcycle. That's the best time to reflect and just be one with your bike in the world. Isn't that so true? It is you know? because you know what? That's not the first time that one of our Yankee babes has said that spiritual world connection happens yeah. on their motorcycle. Yeah. And I, I believe that too. And you're I'm, so aware. you got like that 360 pretty much. You've got the fresh air. Yeah. You're here. You can, even with the sound of the pipes, you oh, can yeah. still hear. I hear the birds. I, I you, you know, know, you can hear, yeah, you can hear what's surrounding yeah. you. It's just amazing. She does have a message for women who... I've just started out riding or thinking of getting their endorsement. And she says, just like learning to walk, put your fear behind you and just do it. And it will be amazing. I love it. I love I her love words. That. I get like I spirit, spirit bombs. Bombs. Yeah. Yeah. So Sarah is our babe, babe of, of the, the week. week. Welcome, um, Sarah. Good stuff. So, so this one says, listen, ladies, you should... 
know who this is commenting. Oh, I already know. Laughing my ass off. Yeah, I'm sure you're laughing your Who ass is off. laughing their ass off? Who is it? I bet you it's the fool. Secret? The April fool. The April fool? Is it oh, the April maybe. fool? We don't know. Because we moved over to the group and it just says Facebook user. Yes. Yeah, so. On my thing. So, so show yourself. No. Or not show Let yourself. us know who at it least, is. At least tell us who yeah. you are. Yeah. I love on, it. I'm going to go on our different pages. You should now. know who this is commenting. Laughing my ass off. Could okay. it be Sarah? It could be. Oh, it's Robin. Hi, Robin. Hi, Robin. Uh-uh. <laughs> Digging it out. Digging it out. You're coming incognito. Yeah, she came incognito. Because Listen, we're on ladies. Our, that, that's our um, See, we restream didn't... app. That's our restream. Yeah, and I just moved over to the group, so I don't know if that like kind of messed things up. Yeah. But Thank you, Robin, um, for your you comments. Know, we didn't know it was you because you didn't say, like, Oh, we can't hear you. You have no volume. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> okay, oh, which is okay, it's Robin. Which is it's Robin. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Thanks for tuning in, sweetie. Yeah. And uh, thanks for coming to check out Sarah, yes. our babe of the week. Love it, love it, love it. So um, let's, let's put a spin on things. Oh, should we look at your paintings while you're talking about your spin? Um, you can, sure. That's or do you want to just, like, no, fold them down? No, that's cool. That's good. Whatever. Because they're very spiritual. They are very spiritual. And you want to know what, guys? The spiritual spin this week, right, <laughs> is... Um, I'm trying to be animated today. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I decided this week's spiritual spin is going to be a little bit of two things. A little bit of spiritual warfare that I've been dealing with this week, right? Um, people trying to get me or people actually getting me to step out of my character, mm. right? Because I am all about love, kindness, understanding, and compassion. And sometimes Amy goes backwards ghetto on somebody, like up one side of them, down the next. Mm-hmm. I did it to probably two people in the past 10 days who came at me very disrespectfully. I did not take the pause. I did not take time to let the goddess in and I reacted very poorly. Threatened (laughs) threatened to knock somebody upside their fucking head if they ever came at me like that again and told one they were being a (coughs) a total I didn't mean it. Anus hole. I didn't mean it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, It wasn't me. I'm on this really good spiritual path and sometimes that warfare will come at me and I, and I tend to step out of character and I don't like that person. I'm mm-hmm. not that person anymore. I was back in the day. I have dropped some big dudes in, in bars who would use the C word and I'd be intoxicated and I didn't care how big you were. Kneecaps work, ladies. They all fall with a kneecap. I don't care how big you are. Kick them in a kneecap, they will go down. Then you can kick them in the face like I used to. But I don't do that anymore. I, I'm just not that person. She's going to live vicariously through you, so. Yeah. <laughs> Send pictures. <laughs> and I mentor a young woman about holding themselves accountable for their actions and their behaviors and their thoughts, right? Mm-hmm. So I had to make amends this week, and one of them I have yet to make the amends to because I'm still really angry about the situation. So um, be careful how you choose your words. Um, When when I eat crow, I don't like the taste of the feathers at all. Um, Mm. I'd rather saute a salmon, to be honest with you. So, and, and the next part of it is about creation right manifestation in life so i am really powerful in manifestation right i I really it's all about the thought the thought becomes the words Mm -hmm. the words become the actions and the actions become your reality which is the manifestation that's the stage of manifestation right so, and that works with negative thoughts as oh, well. Oh, yeah. You can manifest positively and you can manifest negatively. And it all starts in our thought patterns, right? So I actually, um, re- I've been really manifesting financial security. I've been manifesting mm-hmm. um, my business. I have been manifesting um, leveling up in life, right? 
uh, by my thoughts, by my actions, by my words, and, and it's becoming my reality. I was talking to Michelle before the show today um, about how I've been manifesting these things in my life, and, and she's like, Amy, it's, it's already happening. Like, mm -hmm. you already have so many of the things that you wanted when I met you, you actually have right now. And I had to take a second and think about that. And I mean, even in the short time we've been doing this show, Michelle, yeah, I have manifested so much of what I, you know, I had ideas and I'm like, I'd really like to do that. But the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, I do the spiritual work. I stay in constant contact yeah. with my goddess. I am always in prayer and meditation. Meditation is the listening part of mm -hmm. prayer. Right? We can say, oh, God, help me do this. God, help me do that. And then you don't listen for the answers. Yeah. You're not open to receive those messages we were talking about earlier in the show, right? Yeah. That them signs that the, that the that spirit gives us. That the manifestation is happening. Exactly. So My turn. <laughs> so I am really good at... Good afternoon, Yankee Dave. ...listening today. And I do a lot of footwork. Uh, you got a call from us? I work really hard at becoming a better person. I work really hard at my business. Oh, yeah. I work really hard with yeah. mentoring right, women. Okay. Yep. Um, I have a lot of stuff that I'm so blessed and thankful for um, because you know what? <clears throat> with a heart of gratitude and um, a servant heart and a heart of gratitude. I'm like, what's a stewie? <laughs> you know, manifestation is very no. possible. <laughs> manifestation is very possible. And um, I'm actually going to do a workshop next month about manifestation. I love it. That's yeah, beautiful. I'm going to be doing a workshop on it. I love the steps. And I yeah, hope I'm not like interrupting thought, your no. thought process, but mm -hmm. it's like, how simple is that? Like, it's like. Yeah, your thoughts. You start think it. about it, right? You mm -hmm. want it. Your words speak it into the universe. Speak it, yeah. Your actions, the footwork. Do, yeah. do it. Oh, spirit is winning. I know. And then it becomes your reality. Manifest. Believe it. Own it. Yeah. See yourself in that financial abundance. Yeah. What's it going to feel like? Own it. You're bringing it forth. You know, my friend's like, oh, I need to, I need to make this much money. I, I, I got to get this and I got to have that. And I got, you're doing it wrong, dude. Yeah. You're doing it wrong. You are pushing it away by saying, I need it. I need it. I need $500 to pay my bills. I need this. I need I have mm -hmm. the ability and I have the actions that are going to help me to manifest that $500. Mm -hmm. I can do this. I will do this. I am doing this by getting up every day and taking the steps that you have to take for that day to reach that goal. So it's your thoughts, your actions, your thoughts, your words, your actions, and your reality. Beautiful. And those are the steps that I take. I love them. They're With so simple. My, it, it is. It's so simple. Right. And I got to tell you, I'm thinking like, bah, bah, and I, I hope her. it's all right that I do that. Like, I love her. Just I comes love in. her. Go ahead. <laughs> Amy and I are buying a motorcycle. It is a piece of crap. <laughs> She's throwing it out there, guys. I'm throwing it out there because... You know, because we're going to start, we're going to rebuild this bike. This is like, we're, it's the Phoenix Project, really. Because this bike has been like rusting <laughs> in the backyard. It's coming up out the ashes it's, just like the Phoenix. Know, yeah, Dave got a call from a customer like a couple of years ago. And that was when we were consigning bikes, when we were doing that. And she's like, my brother died. I'm clearing, clearing out his thing, yeah. you know, the storage unit. And I have this bike and I don't even know what to do with it. And Dave's like, well, we'll fix it up. We'll sell it, whatever. Well, we had a kid working for us that didn't end up working out. Right. He's Mm -hmm. name shall not be mentioned but those of you that are customers of the shop know him know, <laughs> know who he is um it that just took it us. apart we there's pieces off of it not off of it with it not with right. it. we don't know so it right. never got sold this woman still hasn't received so i'm like i said to amy let's just what do you think let's just buy this bike right so me and michelle are going to be wrenching 
We're going to be wrenching it. That's going to be part of our show. Wrenches. We're going to be. Yeah. <laughs> say that it. five times Wench. fast. Did you say wenches? <laughs> Which wrenches? wrenches? Which wrenches? We're gonna be wrench, <laughs> wrench wenches. We're gonna be wrench wenches. Which wrench wench? Hello, Hello, governor. Hello, governor. What do I do with this? Of course, you'll hear Dave in the background, and probably he'll jump in every now and then and be like, "No, I told you to put it here." But we're gonna build this bike, and then, poop. We are going to auction it, auction it get raffle ticket it off, or yeah, something like yeah, that. We, we gotta are find going out. To put it up for a raffle sale. Yeah. So you could try to manifest winning it. Yeah. Well, we manifest getting the parts creating to fix it. it. Right. Yeah, and creating it. <laughs> so, but that's the thing, There you right? go. So, basically, I had to share a little bit on that spiritual warfare because I have I love had it. some issues this week. Um, you know, I am sunshine and sparkly, but some days I am a thunderstorm that you don't want to mess with. But you're a human. Yeah. So, and that's the thing, like, and I think that's what you're saying, like, you can get off track. That's what we do as people. Yeah. But, but you just reel it back in. Reel it back in. Yeah. And, you know, before I would, I'm like most of the, <laughs> most of the other humans, like, I have something terrible happen, it ruins my whole day, and I'm still bitching about it the next day and the next day. Today, the mm. way that I am spiritually, the way I am connected, the way that I process... In five minutes, I'm like, wow, I was really a douchebag right there, and I need to make it right. Wow. Right? Because forgiving and apologizing isn't about the other person for me. It's about me freeing myself of those chains. Yeah. Because I can fall into those depths of despair, just like everybody else. And it puts the hammer down on the manifestation almost immediately. Oh, immediately. Like it just slams that door shut. That's part of our powerful thought pattern, right? Because our minds are so powerful. And people are like, oh, you create your reality and all the cliches I aren't used to hear. It's the truth. Yeah. Your thoughts, your words become actions. So if I'm thinking negatively and I'm speaking violently, I, my next action is going to be a physical altercation. Mm-hmm. But if I'm thinking... That's why I'm always Kim, very nice around her. <laughs> I'm telling you, I just know that for me, um, I'm not the person I used to be, and I'm very grateful that spirit has worked so strongly in, in inside of me that I recognize those behaviors. And a lot of it's because of my recovery program. Mm -hmm. i got to be honest with you. You know, I wish everyone had a 12-step program to live by. You know, there was a... An, an actor at one point who did a series on the 12 steps of life and mm. he just took the alcoholic addict part out and put human being and God. it worked that's pretty cool it, it was phenomenal i mean you think right? of it, it's it's not really like a um I, science fiction thing it's it's, it's not, a common it's sense about, thing. yeah it's about morals yeah. values spiritual principles you know spiritual principle integrity honesty mm. compassion Brotherly so love. That oh, kind of crap. And Sarah says, thank you, la thank you, beautiful ladies. Oh, Sarah. Sarah, thanks thank for you, tuning in. Thank you, beautiful you lady. Mom, I know. I love your Coda. <laughs> Coda was so cute. Is it Coda yeah, so cute? Yeah, it is. I love beautiful. it. I had to ask. I was like, how do you get that dog on there? I'm thinking, like, is he going to crate? Does he go here? I've She's like, he rides somebody, right on my tank. Yeah, I think I've she seen said people he, that have, have, like, a bullet tank in the back or a little spaceship yeah. that they put their animal yeah. inside, and they're chained in there, but I'm like, Oh no! Yeah, no. Oh, this no, one's no, right, no. right up front with Mama. And I love that. Right up front That's with Mama. That's so awesome. So okay, we're skipping the weather first because we got to go to dun, upcoming dun. events. <laughs> <laughs> you peaked at the weather. Bad. How dare you? No. I put it on weather before that. Listen, it's always something going on in this show. So now always you, something. So now let's pretend you didn't see that. We'll do the Scooby Doe. They didn't read it. it what is it? Fast enough. We need one of those um, Men in Black. Things. Oh, the pen. Okay, so. We're good. <laughs> events this weekend. <laughs> Leesburg Bike Fest is postponed until November 12th through the 14th. Why oh, do I know that? Oh, yeah. Because Amy and I will be vending at Leesburg Bike Fest. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, listen, y'all, you come down and meet us. 
Yes. Oh, that would be so fun. And we'll do, well, maybe we'll keep, or we'll have a helmet camp. Who knows what we'll do? I can't make any promises. Everything is always tomorrow's. up in the air. What happens at bike events stays at bike events. Well, sometimes. Unless we have a helmet cam on, then all bets are off. <laughs> but... So Leesburg, basically, because of COVID and because of, um, I guess, permitting and licensing and all that, was like, mm, Bike Fest is canceled. So Gator Harley Davidson was like, pretend there's a middle finger there. Screw you, Leesburg. And um, they said, we're opening anyways. So Gator Harley Davidson is having um, the spring bike rally as planned. They have bands. They have vendors. They have food. Are we going to do a bike ride out there? How far away is it? Um, Leesburg is probably, from us, I would say maybe about three hours. Two or three hours. Yeah. So it's not bad. We'd have to stay over if we went. Well, not only would we have to stay over, that's a real long ride for you and me. Yeah. Well, and I had. Maybe we could trail. And the May 1st International Women's Ride Day is coming up, and I'm just trying to rest my body up for that. But we'll be there in the fall, folks. And um, and our buddy Johnny's there, so I'm hoping he gets some pictures of it. Um, but, yeah, so they have – so there's the banner. The, um, they're located at um, 1745 U.S. 441 in Leesburg, Florida. Like I said, food, vendors, I bands. I would love to go and spend the night up there. That April 22nd today. through the 25th. Wait, what? Today's the 22nd. Huh? So it starts today. It started today at 9 a.m. So through the weekend. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, guess what? What? Guess what, chicken butt? I'll tell you in a minute when we go to weather. Okay. Well, damn, I hope it's good weather. Even though you didn't see anything on the weather yet. I don't know where my phone went <laughs> so I could check the weather. Well, you have it already on here. I know, but I was going to check the weather for Leesburg. Oh, it's right oh. in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> your glasses are on your head, Ashdell. <laughs> Like, we build up the energy, right. and then, like, right before one, we're like... <laughs> so, listen, the weather this weekend, guys, in, in our area, in the Vero, Fort Pierce area, it's going to be nice tomorrow on Friday, oh. but Saturday and Sunday, we have, like, a 45% chance of rain. Uh. It's going to rain, you know, depending on where you are, what time of day, it might just be the afternoon thunderstorms, which we're kind of used to. Mm-hmm. Stay where you're at five minutes later, it's it's nice again. But you know what? I don't know. I'm yeah, just not right to feeling. What do yeah, we think? I'm gonna check Leesburg weather right now so we can find out what the weather's gonna be like out there at the bike event. Um, because you know what? That's usually uh, that's usually different. Yeah, because it's side. a little. Yeah, because it's a little more inland. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And they get like crazy yeah. weather. Yep. So I don't even know what to up, say. I'm not the weather Leesburg. person. I am on my on my. Beautiful app that and I if you're, use. It, it, Amy checks the what? See, the reason that Amy is the weather witch on our show mm-hmm. is because she, her, her motorcycle. For those of you that don't know, her motorcycle is her main vehicle. That's her main mode of transportation. Correct. Does she have a car that she can borrow for her sister? Yeah, or her mom. But you know what? It's just a real big. You know, sometimes borrowing a car, like, you know, that it's that other person's car. So she yeah. depends a lot on the weather. So if you ever, I mean, I'm just putting this out there and I do this. To, I have to do it every show. I have to do something to you that you're not expecting. I always put Amy out there. Here, just ask Amy if you're going somewhere and you're not sure what the weather's going to be. <laughs> come to our group and be like, hey, Amy, what's the weather? Hey, She's like, on, got, you've got like 100% accuracy. I have in our 17 shows, knock on yeah. wood. Um, that I oh, have been actually blessed enough. Product. Oh, Lord, it's going to be 88. Um, Saturday is going to be a beautiful day. Sunday, it is going to be a 50% chance of rain in Leesburg. Oh, so but go Friday out, like, and maybe... Saturday are going to be beautiful if y'all want to head out there. So Friday right? and Saturday would no be No rain days. today in Leesburg, and then Friday and Saturday, it gets more and more as the weekend goes on, 7% Sunday. Okay. Fifty percent Saturday, you know. Get in, get out. Get in, get out. Ooh, that's what she says. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Oh no, but I'm bumped. I knew it was one of those. <laughs> that's right. So, <laughs> yeah. So um, head out to Leesburg. Um, check it out, Gator Harley Davidson. Thank you so much for like you know just keeping Leesburg Bike Fest alive because that's like huge, you know. Yeah, we got some Very great big. great events coming up. I know that. Um, I think it's right before this uh, Leesburg Bike Fest postponement date. I believe Roscoe's is coming up too. 
Yeah, we got to check into Roscoe's because we'll be at Roscoe's, and we're also going to be in Georgia in June. Right. Georgia in June. June, G- Georgia. JJ. JJ. For so, JJ? Did you say for JJ? I said we got it for JJ. <laughs> Are you getting hot flashes now? <laughs> Oh man! Wait, wait, we have one of those. Oh shit! Yeah, that's another subject, guys. folks. So, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes, thank I you. hope you enjoyed our show. I really want some feedback on our, on your tribes, right? Like, yeah, what's your group like? You know, what's the funnest thing you guys have ever done? And you know, how do you feel about being part of that tribe, right? Yeah. Because my thing is, you know, I know what I bring to the table today. And, and I, I like to be with other people who bring things to the table, right? Yeah. Like, so we all bring to the table and we have a meal. Because if we didn't do that, I'd be eating leftovers. And I'm not, I don't do leftovers. No, no sloppy leftovers anymore. And I even say that about relationships today. Like, I know what I can bring to the table. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What are you bringing? Because I'm yeah. not eating leftovers. That's brilliant. Wonderfully said. Yeah. Wonderfully said. Thank you for watching. Join us next week, next Thursday at noon. Don't miss it because that's going to be our last installment of, of the Chicks, Chicks Clubs and Clicks. Click, 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 click. Because I'm the character. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bye everybody. Guys,